MacHeads101 here today. I'm going to be showing you how to encrypt a zip file. First of all, I'm going to be demonstrating this to you on my desktop. You can see I have two files here that we're going to be playing with. Tester and test file. Tester is a directory with the file in it. And test file is a standard text file. Now, we're going to be um, zipping these up in an encrypted file. First of all, we're going to do the zip command. So if we're going to do dash e, and then name of the zip file, test.zip, and the name of the file, the zip, presumably test file. Now we're going to have to enter a password, and this is the encryption key. This is password protecting the file, and that's what encryption basically means. Now, normally, when you unzip a file, just by double-clicking it, it will open up onto your desktop. But an error comes up. This is because we cannot unzip an encrypted file. Sucks for you. So, what we're going to have to use is the terminal. Handy dandy terminal. We're going to have to type unzip test.zip. What this is going to do is it's going to unzip it. It's going to ask us for the password. Type the wrong password. We have to type it again. Type God. And like normal, it's going to ask us if we want to replace test file. We're just going to rename it to Hi. We open up Hi. It's just like test file. It says this is a test file. And so we've just zipped up test file. We're going to delete test.zip. Delete Hi. Now we're going to zip up a directory test dir we do zip dash re for recursively encrypt and then instead of typing test file I'm going to do test dir and we're going to zip up my test directory and right there is test.zip has everything in tester inside of it open this up cannot do it because it's encrypted we type unzip my password. Let's just cancel. I'm going to delete tester so that we create it all over again. Um, that way I can prove to you that this has worked. I'm going to type my password. Right there is tester. Open this up and test files in it. So that's how to encrypt a directory. You know, encrypt recursively. So it's either zip-e or zip-re that will encrypt a directory or a file. Now let's go with multiple files. Whenever you encrypt multiple files into one zip file, you have to do re again for encryption. And you're going to type the same password. And that way when it asks you to unzip, instead of saying test.zip tester, for that tester file in it, it'll say ask you for the password for each individual file that you separately zipped up inside of it. So that way you can set a different password, but it makes it a lot easier if you have the same password for every file. Otherwise, you really have to pay attention to which file you're entering the password for. So that's how to encrypt zip files. Um, I will point out that even if root has the file permissions to access your files, Root will not be able to view test.zip. Even if he does have the permissions, he will not be able to open it. If he types unzip, he will still have to type the password. Encryption like this is very secure. I don't think anyone's getting to your files unless they know your password. So um, that's file encryption. If you want to secure like a journal file or a password file, that's how to do it. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, MacHeads. Uh, subscribe, youtube.com slash MacHeads101. Um, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And um, goodbye.